in every county in this country. Ensure that every county is properly facilitated so that this movement is even curtailed, that referrals are only made within the county because all the 47 counties can have workable institutions that can be able to handle these emergencies. We are even going to push further by asking ourselves several questions. I heard Wamushoba say that in our county, a patient was to be referred, but they could not even move her because they even didn't have money or means of transporting them. In my own county, a week ago, a family was, a house was burned down, four members uh, uh, were, were victims, three died instantly, and one was to be referred to Kenyatta National Hospital. It took almost eight hours to refer this patient. By the time he arrived in a lobby, he was pronounced dead. Eight hours was enough to save the life of this gentleman. But because we have no means of ensuring that we had all emergencies, Kenyans are really suffering. And therefore, it will be important for us even to bring up amendments, ensure that emergencies are emergencies. Nobody knew that that house will be burned on that night. Nobody ever can predict when they will have accident. And therefore, it is also important to ensure that we have either subsidized facilities or we can be able to have free transportation, free referral to emergency cases in this country. And those are some of the areas that we should be able to explore as members of parliament to ensure that the people, poor people in this country are not continue, do not continue suffering because they are not well endowed and they are financially not stable. We should also be able to ensure that we gazette all the institutions that are qualified to handle emergency cases and referral cases. Because again, you can see the, what the member is asking for is that we ensure that adequate measures are taken to establish whether the health institutions to which patients are referred to within and outside the country possesses adequate health equipment and health personnel. These are issues that should be done early enough. Let us gazette all the private institutions, county and national government facilities that can be able to handle referral cases to ensure that it's efficiency, that our patients are being referred not to favor a certain institution, not to favor a certain doctor, Fred, or a certain doctor, but because these facilities qualified, qualifies to handle these cases. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, what you'll be asking is to carry a comprehensive reform in the health sector, and also ensure that again, the debate is once again introduced, either through a national conversation once again, and that is why we are talking of reforms in this country. That is why we are talking of even having a referendum in this country. Because there are some of these issues that now need to be re, uh, discussed once again. The accountants that are willing to hand over their facilities to national government, but the mechanism to do so must be properly established. We have to ask ourselves, is it the high time you look at the issue in the Constitution on how the issues that are affecting our people? If you look at the most important things that any government can do for its people, is first of all to ensure that they are properly fed, ensure that they are proper education, but above all, health care in any country is so important, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, I have no reason that uh, we should be able to support this uh, amendment and uh, ensure that any institution that is serious, they should not wait until members of parliament bring some amendments to come and tell us that you are in the process of doing so. Let them come together. If they have a, a better way of doing so, let them bring the ideas, what they need to be done to the member who is capable and we can be able to amend the law accordingly. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very well. Let me acknowledge uh, 